We beat the first level. You found it. We did it, you guys. All right, it's open. <laughs> now let's get the hell out of here. What? What's wrong? Oh, yeah. Guess it's a little high for you, huh? I'd say that's at least six feet, maybe more. At least six feet? That's pretty tall. That's not high at all. I mean, if she's only four feet, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm, I mean, like, I would be hitting my head in this room. That's how short it is. That's, like, off-putting. What the hell? I mean, it's made for Japanese people. You've been to Japan. Do they have elevators that are so short that six foot tall people would be hitting their head inside the elevator? Like, not the doorway, but inside it? In... You probably went there with six foot tall people, right? Isn't Cal taller? No, Cal I'm taller than Cal. Oh, are you? Yeah. And, I'm taller than, and you're taller than Joe, too, right? Yeah. Oh, so I'm taller than all of you. You know what? There so, were none of, so none of you were six feet tall. I think there were some elevators where I was like, this is getting a little close. Ah. I feel a little breezy on my head. I, yeah, I'd be like hitting my head. Holy shit. All right, then. Climb up on my shoulders. Your shoulders? Your lips move? Yeah, that's right. Why? Something wrong? What? What's that look supposed to mean? What do you think I'm gonna do? Oh, come on! I'm just trying to be rational here. No ulterior motive, hand to God! We're literally about to die from a falling elevator, and she's like, Don't touch me weird when we climb out. We said she can... Not like I'm hoping to get my face sandwiched between a girl's bare thighs, or... Ugh, I knew it. You sick bastard. Oh my god, this is happening right now. I... I was just kidding! You weren't kidding. You said you don't want that, which is the truth. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Right, look, I'm just trying to get us out of here. You got any brilliant ideas that don't involve your thighs? <laughs> Fine. I mean, they could always do the hand thing where you step on someone's crossed hands and they boost you up. Yeah, I guess. I don't know why they didn't... Uh, I'm surprised they didn't just fall to that one, honestly. On your knees. What? You're a little tall for me to just jump up on your shoulders. And I'm certainly not going to give you the satisfaction of making me climb. So kneel. Oh, okay. There. Ready? Bring it on! <laughs> Thanks. I really thought that the 3D models meant they were going to animate everything happening in 3D, but there, we're still having like weird off-camera implied yeah. scenes. Maybe we'll have some more when we get the group together. Maybe. A little step up is just what I needed. Wait, what? What? Wait, what are you, what are you going to do? Quiet. Here we go. Huh. Oh, she literally jumped off of our backs. Oh. She, she can fly? What the fuck? <laughs> How in the hell? Sigma, you have problems. <sighs> All right, give me your hand. Uh, you're not pulling me up. What? Oh, uh. What the heck are you? Well, I'm not Superman, that's for sure. And I'm not Batman or Spider-Man or Aquaman or Merman or a Wolfman. Wait, uh, that, that list got weird. Was it, uh, isn't Aquaman and a Merman kind of the same thing? Also... What, Wolfman isn't a DC character or a Marvel character. Um, why did you I, just like? Why did you default to like Superman, we, Batman, Spider-Man, Spider Aquaman? Does she actually have powers? Is that we're supposed to think? I think so. I'm not a Brahmin or a Common or a Brahmin. I'm not a Cayman either, so you don't really need to worry about anything. What? I don't. I is I I I, I don't get it. Is this a joke? Right. So is Keith, there a joke happening? Yeah. So Keith, uh, I, 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 those words sound similar. I should probably explain this to you because you're not gonna get it. Is it Japanese? It's yeah. It's Japanese. Okay. Um, do they not like the Caymans? This guy doesn't know how to write. Oh. Dialogue. That, that's Japanese. <laughs> yeah. The the author the write the writer of this story doesn't know how to write stories. So he was just making jokes, and they're not funny. Um. What are you going? What are you going? What, what, what are you going to explain to me? I'm I'm explaining to you, more or less, the audience than you that this is bad writing. 
And oh, I thought you had insight. No, no, <laughs> my insight, my insight here. <laughs> my insight here is that this is a fucking poorly written dialogue God damn it, exchange. I thought you had something to say. No, I, I'm really upset by this. I'm not a Brahmin, a common, or ramen. I'm so confused uh, by their attempts at jokes. In these yeah, movies. you're not a bowl of fucking food. I get it. Like, and a caiman? Do you think? Do you even know what a caiman is? You didn't want to. You didn't know what a rabbit was. Isn't a Brahmin? How do you know like what a, a isn't a Brahmin like a bovine variant? Yes. All and, right. But like, how do you know what a caiman is, but you don't know? How do you know what a How do you know what a Brahmin is, but you don't know what a rabbit is? <laughs> like, I just. Do you read the stuff you write before you what post? What was the it? knuckles lie? Like, this is no time for jokes. This is war. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like, it upsets me because do you know the way? It sounds like a more <laughs> like intelligent thing to say um, no, in the let's, sense let's of all this. Going. Let's go. My name is Phi. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, we're doing this now. Okay. okay. So instead of being. So instead of being a bunch of uh, numbers, now they're a bunch of Greek letters. Yes. Okay. Okay. And they self-identify by those names. <laughs> Greek did letters? they? Did we kidnap a bunch of people that happened to be named Greek letters? Because our first character's name played named Sigma. <laughs> La last time it was very clear that we wanted to not call ourselves by our real names, so we made up fake names. <laughs> Is it like a real thing? Oh, this is Do weird. People live in a world where they actually only identify as Greek we're like letters. A, we're gonna be like a gamma and a delta and an alpha no! and a beta. The robot's gamma. Theta. No. Oh, the, no! The, the return of the Sonic Adventure. Yeah, the robot, robot is gamma. Fuck. Is, was it gamma or omega? No, I bet the robot's gonna be beta. I don't know. Or alpha. There's law letters. Oh god. I guess you could say, I am no man. Just what? come on. <laughs> One of these days, Witch King. What? What? Uh, sorry. <laughs> She's spouting exclusively gibberish like Keith, some kind of lunatic. Last time I checked, I didn't think we opened Vermitide 2. Yeah, Who is uh, the Witch King? <laughs> She's. She might be crazy. I think this game doesn't understand the concept of like. Moderation, <laughs> like just give me, give me some per, like character personality and moderation, please. It just, it just kept going. I was like, oh okay, uh, uh, oh okay, okay. Also, she's upset we're not grabbing her hand, but this, she's just talking, she's rambling. I on. am no man. And we are, we are still baffled by the first thing she said, which was, my name is literally Phi. Oh, she literally explicitly made a Lord of the Rings joke. She is no man. One of these days, Witch King, because the Witch King gets killed by that blonde lady. It's like, I am no man. She's like, no man can kill me. And then she stabs him in the face because she's not a man, which is apparently it was what works. Do you remember that from Return of the King? I can't tell if you recognize what I'm talking about I... or if you're just afraid to react. <laughs> like, are you just stunned by the realization of what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah, they're, they're making it's... a Return of the King reference. So we got she's like, Superman. I am no man, and she stabs him, and that's the Witch King. So we got Batman, Superman, Spider Man, Aquaman, Merman, Wolfman, Witch King, <laughs> Fi, uh, Bovine, Ramen, Cayman. How many stupid we're, shit is we're, she we're, we gotta catch. She's gotta catch me so we can escape the falling elevator, and she's like making a Lord of the Rings reference. Just due to the fact that she is a woman, as if we didn't know that. <laughs> this is a really. I mean, I didn't. I, it's a really weird piece of dialogue. I, I, at this point, honestly, Keith, I just don't <laughs> even. Why? All right. Well, let's see. All right. <laughs> I just want to go home. I'm done. I'm done already. <laughs> hey, there's a nine door. Wow, we found that and uh, the exit really easily. Wait, excuse me? Do milkmen go comedy? Okay, so that's where it is. So the secret document gave it, told us what was going to be in the next room anyway? <gasps> Whoa! What's up with this place? <laughs> sure doesn't look like an elevator shaft. Some kind of warehouse, maybe. <laughs> Wait. Or a hangar. Look at all those different elevators. Yeah, I think this is all, all the other characters. That's stupid. So we were in an elevator that doesn't elevate. I wasn't going to go anywhere. What if it can still? When the rabbit said it was gonna fall, he was just screwing with us? So it would seem. Then why? Forget it. Look. 
more people. Oh, they already got out. Wow, we're slow. Assuming there's nine characters, then that takes us to seven already. Looks like an old guy, a young man, two girls, and... A kid? <clears throat> they're all wearing bracelets. Probably safe to assume they're trapped here, too. Right, well, let's go say hi, then! Half your sentences, the way you say them, sound like suit, like Street Fighter attacks. <laughs> let's go say hi! Okay, you're literally not wearing anything to protect your tits from falling out and just hitting everyone in the face. There is no reasonable human who would wear this outfit anywhere ever in the history is, of ever, unless you were a stripper. It is some next level and practical. She's wearing a hoop over her entire torso, and that's her only clothing, is like you, a necklace. You're telling me that this necklace is perfectly built to protect your tits, your Maybe nipples. Maybe it's attached via exposed. pasties? I didn't know. Like it's just glued on. <laughs> hey, hey there. Any of you guys know what the hell's going on here? No, we don't. I haven't been out here much longer than you. They grabbed you too, huh? Grabbed? Then a pig man attacks you. <laughs> like in Saw. Oh. Yeah. I got in my car. I went to start the engine and then there was this white smoke. I gotta say, every time it cuts back to that, that under crotch angle will never not be funny. Right? That's a it's great like, angle. It's a strange angle. I think we all shared that particular experience. The smoke seems to be some kind of general anesthetic. Elizabeth? When I woke up, I was in one of these elevators. All five of you were in one elevator? No. Mr. Uh, Dio and I were in the same elevator, but... Wait. Which one of you is Dio? That would be me. Are they, are they going to be siblings again? Maybe. They put two blonde people in an, an elevator together, and last time it was like the twin of the twist was like, those two are siblings. Well, this one's got like headlights. His name is Dio. Dio. All right, I'll take it. I, I love it already. It was me. It was me, Dio, all along. <laughs> oh, they even said like the, the, his first sen the yeah. first thing that Dio says in this game is, it was me. That would be me. <laughs> That's why I was like, where's Dio? Cool. There's Quark. All right, well, at least they're not old. All right, they're not, at least they're not. Oh, Dio, like a diode and a diode and yeah. quark. Dio. Okay, so they're not all, at least they're not all Greek letters. Wait. <laughs> quark. Quark's, like, quark's the name of a character on DuckTales. So Get now we're seeing it here. in 3D and I still am not entirely sure what he's wearing. I, I'm telling you, it's headlights. It looks like lights, basically. Yeah. yeah. Does he have reflectors on it? <gasps> oh, is it bike reflectors that you wear on your head? <laughs> Wait, what? Was he on a motorcycle? Maybe. You think he was on a motorcycle when he got kidnapped and somehow smoke came out of a motorcycle I mean, and knocked to, him out? I mean, it doesn't have to be a motorcycle necessarily, but like, you know, riding a bike, you put on reflectors so people don't hit you. Yeah. But I'm but saying... But he's just leaving it on? I guess. The whole time? Because where's he going to put it? Quirky Japanese character setups, designs, yeah. Nice to meet you, mister. Are you British? Uh, right. Nice to meet you, too. So, what about the rest of you? Ten me OG Alice and Luna all woke up in different elevators. Oh, Could you say Alice that last one again, Luna. but this time, like, excuse yourself out of the room? Why is this person have a name way bigger than everyone else? Are you the villain? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, who, you don't walk up to a room where someone was like, my name's Five, just my glad, name's Dio. I'm just really glad that everyone's not letting name like Gamma. My I'm name's Alice, my name's Tenya Moroji. It's like, okay, you're I'm still a little... confused how our names are Sigma and Phi. All right. All right. I mean, Spe specifically Sigma. I'm like, who names our kids Sigma? Uh, maybe they were born inside of a frat house? Correct me if I'm wrong. No, you've got it right. So you'd be ten year emoji then, right, sir? Yep. Yeah, you're a bad guy. And Alice is me. She's Luna. Alice okay, is the, so she's it, the mummy. That's the mummy. She's all ice. She's ice nine or whatever, Alice. <laughs> Key, yeah. She's a lice. A lice. 
<laughs> she is a lice. She is a Alright, so yeah, Alice is definitely the mummy from the previous game. God obviously. Damn well, she has a fucking her scarab on her neck. Like, so god knew. damn it. Oh yeah, she does have a scarab. Like, and she has like yeah, golden gold everywhere. And she has the Cleopatra eyeliner she makeup Cle on. She has the Egyptian like style hair. And she's got like, like sarcophagus. She's got boobs for days. Gold everywhere. Every an eagle. I mean, bangles. Yeah. Walk Wait. like an Egyptian. Get it? Because <laughs> they were the God Bengals. <laughs> Isn't that the name of the band? I think <laughs> so. <that> song? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. It's very nice to meet you. Um. Hey. Nice to meet you, too. What's she so nervous about? And you are? Right, uh, I'm Sigma! <laughs> and this bundle of laughs is Phi! Good to meet you all, I guess. Say that again. Wait, isn't Sigma Phi what, like, frat boys say? Yes. Or, no, Sem I was thinking of Semper Phi, never mind. No, that's what military people say. Oh, dude. Sigma, Sigma Phi is what uh, Jock Are those say. two different phrases? Yes. And they both say, oh. I wonder if we named that? Yes. Why do we have a coupled name? Se it's Semper Phi and Sigma. Or huh. it's, Sem it's Semper, uh, Semper Phi, Sigma... I think Sigma Phi? Sigma Phi. I don't know. Yeah. I was just wondering because we have like a strangely coupled sounding name. I mean, same I thing. guess we must know each other but have amnesia? Maybe. Because she knew my name. Yeah. Her and name. she's also named after a Greek letter. And this malnourished harpy is Phi. Better? Bastard. <laughs> um, are you two... Ha! <laughs> Not likely. That elevator was the first time we'd seen each other. I think? You think? Uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. We met just now in that elevator. <laughs> Subtle. That's the truth. Uh, yeah. Uh, see your bracelet there. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Hmm. And yours. Five, right? Now let me have a look. Uh, I thought so. And she's like a ghost. What? Look, you and Dio show them your bracelets. What? They both say pair and have the number three! Just like Phi and I. No, wait. The color's different. Ours are red. And yours are blue! Sharp eye there. What about yours, uh, sir? Ten Moyoji, right? Show him yours too, ladies. Oh! oh! There's non-paired people. Because they all woke up in, ele in elevators alone. Red, blue, and green? They're different. You all got threes, but your bracelets say solo. Right. You figure it out then? Figure out what? Sigma and I are the red pair. Dio and Quark are the blue pair. Each pair got put in the same elevator. But Tenmyoji, Alice, and Luna were all solos, so... So they got put in their own separate elevators. Okay, that's great and all, but... What do pair and solo mean? Don't got the foggiest idea. Well, that's helpful! <laughs> I don't know why we're split up like this either. Does anybody know what the three means? Maybe it has something to do with the game. Game? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes! And I'm calling it... This film reel effect. <laughs> Okay, but it's better. <laughs> it's better than the the zero, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> what was that? What was that about? The, like, what if they just didn't know the rules because they didn't hear them? And like, yeah. oh, I guess we'll just wait for rescue. <laughs> and they explode. The fuck is Epidex Edition? I'm not sure. Do you think the poison's real this time? Epidex Edition. 
Wait, Ambidex? Do you think the poison's real this time since the bombs were fake last time? No. Because last time wasn't it established that that one guy that that Ace killed was the only person that actually had a bomb? I think so. I and don't. Every, think... Everyone else was just they were just had pretend bombs. What is Ambidex? I don't know. Googling it might bring up spoilers. I would avoid that. Yeah, it is because it's the Ambidex is apparently only associated with as zero. Yeah, escape. it's probably gonna be like Ice Nine and stuff like. Wait, no, Ice Nine was real, wasn't it? Or. <laughs> Yeah, it was not, Alice. Not, not real real, but wasn't Ice Nine like a thing we looked up and it was like, oh yeah, somebody wrote made this up for a fake Yeah. Book. It was a Kurt it, it was a Kurt Vaganad book, right? Yeah, it was like a it was some sci-fi thing, right? Yeah. yeah. You guys saw him too, right? That uh rabbit thing. That wascally rabbit. Yes. In the elevator. He said something about the elevator falling. The others explained that they'd escaped from their own elevators. They'd gone around the warehouse C room we were in and tested the doors. Unfortunately, it turned out that they were all shut tight and impossible to open. They had been about to try and open this door, the one with the nine on it, when Fee and I appeared. Wasn't Phi secretly what that one door was instead of a nine? Yes. Is that what that was what it was, right? Yeah. Yeah, in last game. Yeah. So, any chance this one will open? No, it's, the door says Phi, obviously. <laughs> you know how it opens? Have done it last if there was. Uh, Are you guessing about how the mechanic works? You know how it opens? Are you guessing? People. Oh my god, and it, cuz they're all threes. But it's two pairs and solo. Oh shit. So you got to choose who you're coming, who's coming with. What if they can only be solos? Or what if pairing means that you two combined are one three? It's a way of sneaking in. Dun dun dun. My question is, where's the robot? Yeah, I'm wondering where the robot and who's. There's one other character, right? There has to be another group because yeah, because remember, pink haired girl's not here. Pink haired so girl. So pink haired that was girl the other and robot one. aren't here, and they're pair three that are green. Yeah. So maybe they're still in an elevator somewhere. Yeah. Where are they actually? There's some sort of I don't know. Machine, off to the left here, but, uh... Give it a shot, why don't you? Okay. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like, uh, force probably isn't going to work either. Damn. Wait, did he try? Yeah. Well, I didn't think that'd work anyway. <laughs> he tried to hulk the door down? I guess so. What a badass. I to force that door with anything short of a tank. All right, well, how about those three doors over there? Oh. Ugh. They don't, don't have numbers. Those are weird. So red, pink door, yellow door, blue door. I told you already. Ugh. Each one's got a digital lock on it. We okay. can't pick the lock, and we can't break down the door. You sure about that? Why would I lie? Hmm. Well, in the last game, everyone was lying. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Except Lotus. Okay. Are there any other ways out? No, unfortunately. Not that we've found, anyway. Great. Well, there is one thing I'm a little curious about. And that is... I was the first to escape. That means I know who was in which elevator. Okay. I watched all of you come out, after all. Mm. No, see, those rooms are called Ambidex. Gross. So that's the Ambidex edition. Is huh. whatever the new, new mechanic is for probably voting. And? Well, I was in the one third from the right. Tenuti okay. was the second out. Your elevator was second from the left, I think. Okay, so there's six elevators. There's, what, two pairs and three individuals? Yep. So the other, that that's only five of the elevators. The last one has two people in it still yeah. that haven't gotten out yet. Yeah. Mm, good memory. Yeah, that's where I was. Third was Luna. You climbed out of the rightmost elevator, didn't you? Yes, that's the one. Dio and Quark mm. next. You came out of the elevator next to Luna's, right? Yeah, we did. Get it a color pair. The two of you were trapped in the third elevator from the left. Wait, are we spelling out something here? 
No. It's just keeping track of people. Are you sure? Unless you think saddles something and also it means something else in Japanese. That was also works. <laughs> That'd be a problem. Know. Wait, then. Yes. No one has come out of the leftmost elevator. <gasps> Are you saying there's still someone in there? I can't say for certain, but it does seem strange. Okay, girl, don't move around like that. Your boobs are gonna fall out. Maybe we should go take a look. <laughs> yeah, those fingers are freaking me out. Yeah, good idea. Are they milkmen or are they comedy? Maybe they're dead. So you get it? Two milkmen. Bring out that robot. Two milkmen go comedy. Ah. Uh... Two one comedy. No, I don't get it. Hey! Anybody in there? If you can hear me, just... I don't know. Make some noise. Alright. Hmm. Nothing. No, oh, I thought they made noise. <laughs> I thought they, yeah, I thought they I knocked, thought they knocked, they knocked us. Back. Hey, look at this! Ambidex? Room? <laughs> the second one is even more confusing than the first. <laughs> Some kind of card reader? Maybe it unlocks it or something. There's one next to each door. What do you think Ambidex room is supposed to mean? Okay. Well, it says it on all six of the elevators. Hey. Maybe it has something to do with the game that Zero was talking about. Can I talk about something real quick? Yeah. <laughs> Zero wasn't lying, by the way. What? There's a crane right above where the elevators are. So like totally pick them up and drop them. Pick them up and drop them. Oh, <laughs> like he's not lying. I'm gonna you can, get you. You can die in this game. Yeah, well, I, I would assume it'd be weird if there was a zero escape where that was no threat. Yeah, I'm just saying, like they were all like, yeah, I can't be dropped because the elevator's on the ground. It's like there's a there's a crane. It's literally there to Listen, pick up. Listen, you need to give characters in zero escape games at least two to three hours to notice something in the room. True. We're gonna watch a child get murdered, by the way. <laughs> At least, like, a few times. <laughs> we fine. Again. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't think we really need to worry about that right now, though. We should be figuring out what's inside this thing. Anybody got a key card? Nah. I got nothing. Not even dirt. I don't like how your voice sounds they like mine. Everything we were carrying? Wonderful. See? The rest of us dug through our pockets as well, but it was pretty obvious that Dio was right. My own were completely empty. There wasn't even any lint in the creases. Maybe there's no one in there. But they let you keep your necklace. And costume in general, really. Yeah. Are you what like, a bizarre do you, setup. Do you own a circus? <laughs> No! There is. There's gotta be. What makes you so sure? Huh? Uh, well. Um. Uh, uh. What's that? Look! It's opening! There was someone in there! I mean, we knew that. Time to meet the robot. <laughs> Please, please, please have a cool voice. <laughs> I want to hear a robot voice. I think what we've established, by the way, is that all of those uh, elevators are soundproofed. Yes. What the? Who the hell? Clover. That's Clover? It is Clover. You're right. Clover's back. <gasps> so Clover and Alice are back. How and did we she lose more clothes? <laughs> and somehow... I guess Alice and Clover met each other. Yeah, wait. wait. Off camera between games. Why? Because we, we don't because we don't know Alice as a character. We, she just was like hitchhiking for one screenshot <laughs> of the last game. Clover. So yeah, I don't think we're Junpei. Okay. Damn girl, like, did you come here like that? Did he catch you in those clothes? Also, did you just steal her out of the hands of a robot and not question the robot? Yeah, that raised- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one seems phased with that. Uh, she really had a better costume last game, didn't she? Um, well, I mean, that depends on your definition of better. I mean- She was wearing, like, a hoodie. It was fine. This seems a little bit more appropriate. This is 
she looks cold. <laughs> they both look cold, they honestly. Both, well, they both were cold together then, at least. What's going on here? Do these two know each other? What did you do to her? Nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a robot. She was like that when I woke up. Sounds like Zenyatta. I really wouldn't worry, though. She should be all right. Do it. steady. I believe she's only sleeping. <laughs> Did this robot have to solve the puzzle on his own? Since they kidnapped her. <laughs> what the fuck? Like he had to solve it alone because yeah, she didn't so wake up. Yeah, that's so fucked up. Like, he, he didn't have any help. <laughs> like... Well, I mean, half of them didn't have help. Well, yeah, but I'm sure half of them had a different puzzle, I guess? That would be... I'm more amazed that he had to, like, Superman jump out of there while holding her. <laughs> yeah, right? Wait, they call him Mask Man. Who are you? Yeah, I don't think it's supposed to be a robot. I think it's just supposed to be a really weird costume. No. He's and if you're gonna have a Mask Man, I pretty much can guarantee you he's gonna be a character from the last game. Probably Snake. Probably Snake. Wait, how is he Snake? There's no way Snake could have done the blind Snake, blind Mask Man. Go. Wait, pr wait, wait, wait. What if it's unless he's blind? Junpei. <gasps> what, if um, it's, what if it's before Snake went blind? Maybe he unblinded. Wait, maybe the he got robot. cured by Alice, the Egyptian goddess of goddessness. But then how did they get in here? I don't know. Why, why was he kidnapped as a masked man? That is weird why they didn't take the mask off. Also, wait. Whoa! Hold on. How about you tell us who you are first? You left out of that box dressed like some kind of robot, carrying an unconscious girl. And we've only got your word that you didn't make her that way. I think you owe us an explanation, pal! I'm... Hmm. Who am I? God damn it. What? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember anything. I have no idea where I am, who I am, even what day it is. He kind of sounds like Junpei, I gotta be honest. Like oh, the, the same voice, actor. Like voice for... I mean, cheap game. Production. No, I mean, well, I mean like he, he might actually be Junpei with no. nostalgia, uh, with, uh, nostalgia no. with uh, amnesia again. I would be so mad. <laughs> no. Denied. <laughs> if you happen to know any of those things, I would very much appreciate it if you shared that information. Wait, is he, just, is he just seven again? Not knowing one's identity is vexing. Yeah, didn't seven not know his own identity? Uh, Seven didn't know his own identity. Seven yeah. didn't know anything. Seven, right. The only thing he knew was the Titanic. Oh, right, yeah, Junpei didn't have amnesia. No, Junpei didn't have amnesia. No. Seven did. But, but what if Junpei has amnesia now? No, I think this is Seven again. He doesn't sound anything like Seven. He doesn't have to. He's in a robot voice. <laughs> he's, he's a robot. He's gonna take the mask off and he's, he's gonna sound like He's a spooky robot. Seven. He'll suddenly sound way more masculine yeah. all of a sudden. <laughs> it, he could have a voice modulator. <laughs> what if it's Ace? Oh, he's so mad. Fuck. He's so fucking mad. <laughs> God damn. Santa. <laughs> oh, yeah, very original. The amnesiac routine. Please. How are we supposed to take you seriously when you're wearing this. this. Robot suit. We can't even see your face. Honestly, that was the same reaction I had to two of the costumes we've already seen in this game. Yeah. How are we supposed to take you seriously in this 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 hula hoop? <laughs> you gonna tell someone forced you into that thing? I assume so. <laughs> the most reasonable explanation. What? When I woke up, I was wearing this armor. I suppose you could call it. You look pretty calm for a man who doesn't know who he is. You look pretty calm for a man who I can't see the face of. Yeah. <laughs> look, that's an odd choice of words. I'm wearing a mask. How would you know how I look? You know what I meant, you smartass. Hold him out! I don't know. I don't know what you mean, man. I guess you could say sound. He sounds kind of calm. Are you okay? Come on, talk to me. Okay, look, if you I want to point out, if you go in any other angle from for this character, you're gonna just see her tits. Yeah. Like you're not looking at well, her straight on. Right now, right now it's under boob. Yeah, but if you're not looking at her straight on, like you could just get a good view. 
So Clover, she, what happened? Stop drawing on your face. What happened to you? What did happen to her? Good God. She looks strung out. She came she she came to a nonary game again with less clothes. Like, how did you do this? She looks like the type of person that walks up to your car in the city and says, Wanna party? <laughs> uh, yes. Where Get it? Are All we? ice? Wait. Oh? Oh? Once Clover had woken up, Alice explained everything we knew so far. She listened silently until Alice mentioned Zero and the Nonary game, and then her eyes went wide. What? No. No, that can't... Hey, remember when you murdered everyone with an axe? That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> where, where are you gonna hide it this time? The blood drained from her face, and she wrapped her arms tightly around herself. What did she know? No, she's just cold. As Alice continued to console Clover, the rest of us turned to question the mysterious man in the mask. Why did you lose your memory? When? That's a difficult question. I suppose when I was born. <laughs> I don't remember anything of my life. Assuming I had one. He's the AI. We, we asked did. him everything we could think of. Birth date, address, occupation, family, childhood. But all that did was shake his head. Take off the mask. Take off the mask. Keith, it's gonna, Why are you wearing the mask? It's gonna take- Take off the mask. It's gonna take forever for someone to ask that question. I'm so baffled that they're not just taking the mask off. Why is he not taking the mask off? Was, have we established that it's locked? I think he has generalized amnesia. It's a type of memory loss. Are you a nurse? People uh, affected by it retain knowledge like language, social common sense, memorized facts, abilities they've learned. Like, anything that has to do with um, themselves is just lost. He could also just be a robot who only is pre-configured with information about condition. general knowledge and not general knowledge about himself because he has none because he's a robot. <laughs> well, at least we're establishing crazy brain rules right off the bat instead of coming up with face blindness like 75% of the way in. Yeah, I guess it's true. Most research suggests that it's mainly psychological, not physiological. But in very rare instances, it has been shown to result from severe head trauma. Well, <laughs> Junpei had a lot of head trauma in the various endings. Yeah, and he's still <laughs> so he got beat over the head. Do you have any idea what might have caused it? <laughs> Maybe I had a really bad breakup? <laughs> That sounded exactly like Junpei saying all the bad jokes in the last game. <laughs> he was making a laughing sort of noise. <laughs> you mean laughing? <laughs> Expression didn't change. Because he's wearing a mask! What is wrong with you, Sigma? <laughs> I'm so confused. With the mask on, there was no way we could tell if he was smiling or not, but his voice sure didn't make it sound like he was. Bullshit. This guy's obviously full of it. Tell me you're actually buying this. Dio's outburst was greeted with an awkward silence. It wasn't that we trusted the robot man per se, only that it seemed clear he was in the same mode we were. There was a bracelet on his wrist too. Close inspection revealed that his arm fit around the bracelet. In other words, a bracelet was attached to his arm like ours and not simply part of his suit. What? <laughs> Wait, it's there's just a hole in the armor sticking out that shows the number. Yeah, they said that the bracelet's on his arm and the armor's around the bracelet. But you can't see the arm. You can't even yeah. see the fingers. Yeah, because he's got this layer of this black is, material this everywhere. Is dubious. <laughs> and just like ours, it's had a three on it. And it's in pair below the three. And all the text was bright green. Clover's bracelet was exactly the same. Jesus, Clover, cook their nails. How long had we been there? I still hadn't entirely shaken the last traces of sleep out of my head and my brain felt foggy and cluttered. <clears throat> had I been asleep for hours? Days? There was no way to know. They'd taken my favorite watch when they grabbed me and given me the bracelet instead. And unless it happened to be three o'clock right now, it wasn't going to be very useful for telling time. With no windows in the warehouse, it was impossible to even guess what time of day or night it was. Time could have stopped, and we wouldn't have had the first idea. 
Damn it! No dice. This thing won't open. Didn't I tell you that? Shut up, kid. Yeah, well, I just thought. There's a box here. Maybe it's some sort of locking thing, like the ones next to the elevators. I don't think it's a card reader, though. Huh? Hey, what do you think that is? What? That graffiti over there. See? On the wall? Oh, yes, that. I was wondering what that was. Two milkmen go comedy. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Maybe it's saying that a pair of milkmen decided to become comedians. Still, just kind of sounds like nonsense, though. I think it's somebody's way of saying hello. Huh? You heard me. Yeah, I did. I just wanted to make a sound. <laughs> what the hell was that supposed to mean? It's an anagram. An, an anagram? Yeah. They tried a lot of names before they worked it down to Tella. Come on, seriously? You've never heard of an anagram. They try a lot of names before they try to work down to Tella. Tella. What? What? What is the joke they're trying to go for? I tried so <laughs> far and I'm got so like, far. I'm trying to decode it. They, they should, the come on. They tried to make a joke. Let's try to decode it. It doesn't Let's even just, matter. They, had, they went through a lot of names before they got the telly. Like telegram? Like, yeah. Why though? What? Get it? Anagram, telegram. They kept going down the. So the thing that we're seeing in front of us is a rejected version of the name Telegram? Yes. Is that what she's. What? Is that. How is that ever. I, I don't even get how it could be a joke. It's a kind of, um, wordplay where you move the letters around to create something else. Yeah, we all read freaking <laughs> Harry Potter with Tom Riddle. Keith, it's almost like you said it doesn't make sense how they could do that. You know, it doesn't. It's not how, you know, it's not how jokes work. Guess what, Keith? 999 isn't how mysteries work. <laughs> but they didn't care. They still made it anyways. <laughs> so let's just keep doing it. So what do you think it's an anagram for? <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that'd be odd. <laughs> exactly. Watch. Watch. Well, I have one. Yeah, it says three on it. With the tip of her boot, Fee fi spelled out two sentences in, in the dust on the floor. How so thick how is the dust? Wow. Dusty floor. Okay, wow. She's... Wait, did she draw all that? Welcome she... to my kingdom. She did what? Now she did what? Did what? she draw all those lines she... too? You didn't know what a rabbit looked like. Like, come the fuck on. <laughs> <laughs> well, alrighty then. Two oh. more. Apparently, welcome to my kingdom. Welcome to my kingdom. <clears throat> <laughs> Are you wearing your throat out? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you really hurt yourself here. If you switch it around. Yeah, that makes sense. But why? Huh? Hmm. Exactly. Seems like somebody was expecting us, doesn't it? Uh. Yeah. But. Why is it in blood? Where are they? <laughs> Pretty rude to invite somebody over and not even offer them a drink. True. But you're assuming that Zero isn't one of us. <gasps> dun, wait, dun, why, dun. Why did, wait, why are you surprised, Clover? That literally happened last two times you were in. in yeah, the, she literally. Game. In fact, why isn't she the one suggesting this? Also, how does the As robot. The person who actually went through one of these before, why isn't she the one suggesting this? How does the robot show surprise? It doesn't. Why it just sits his there. Face? He just wobbles a little bit. <laughs> what, what if he. What if they showed him from behind and he just turned his head really fast? <laughs> and all of a sudden they show emotion on him. I kind of wish it would show us look shocked. Also, I wish it would show us. Keith, we don't exist. Like, are we the guy on the cover? I still can't I don't tell. Know, actually. Maybe I still can't tell for sure because it's never looked. To show us what we look. No, it has. Yeah, it has. The kidnapping sequence. Yeah. Do we have a 3D model? I assume we'll show up in cutscenes yeah, at we'll some show point, up in right? Scenes. Yeah. We have to. Huh. Maybe. Shit, maybe we don't have to. Maybe that's why they made him so. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah. 
I've heard, I feel like I've heard this laugh before in, in anime, like a specific voice. Well, it had to be English dubbed. Yeah, oh yeah, you, you wouldn't be any help there. Shit. Damn it. <laughs> I was like, come on, anime friend, you can identify this for me, but you wouldn't ever watch that uh, version probably, of the dub. Yeah, honestly, it'd probably be from Full Metal Alchemist, and it's probably... It's po you mean it's, Alphonse? It might, be, it might be Envy. Envy? Who's Envy? The... No, Envy didn't sound like that at all. Go for no, it. it could Keep be going. Alphonse. Keep going. Huh? Uh, you... Look. Over there. Show me, Dio. Good. Look, at... On, you, Fido. Look at that stank eye. Look at that eye. Right? <laughs> you can't see what I'm about to say before I say it. No, no. I know you. I know you. You know the voice? I know you. Do you recognize the voice? Yeah. <laughs> Zero! <laughs> I 